Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here, and welcome to day 29 of Vlogmas. 29, 29 days. We have came so far together, so far. Wow, it's been a, what a month, what a month really. Um, some said it couldn't be done. I doubted if I could do it or not, but um, as one of the key things we're gonna talk about, I'm gonna give you five reasons today, or five things that I've learned during Vlogmas this month. So, like I said guys, I hope you're doing well. If you are doing great, let me know. Give me that big thumbs up. Let me know how your weekend is going. But let's go ahead and get to the subject. Five things I have learned during Vlogmas 2018. Hmm, what have I learned? Let me go ahead and, uh, I've got notes right off to the side here, so if I look away, it's just to check the notes and make sure I get all these right. The first thing is how hard it is to come up with content. That's kind of how this video got created, and the idea came up, I was like, I don't have anything to talk about today. I have been editing all day, uh, getting a video up that I filmed last night, even though it went up late today, it still went up. Um, but I didn't really have anything else going on today. I guess I could have filmed me editing, I don't know. Uh, I could have, I didn't really have anything else planned, and I was like, well, how, what can I talk about today? And this came about, this video. So, how hard it is to come up with content on a daily basis, something that you hope is gonna interest somebody. And I'm really struggling with that more now that I'm in Oklahoma for, for the last part of this month for break, uh, for vacation, than I was early. Early on in this process, I had plenty of content. I had juicing every day. I could talk about something to do with juicing almost every day, and I had Disney right, ar right around the corner. Much easier to come up with content when you just go to Disney and hang out. Um, but when you're in Oklahoma and not doing much, it's harder to come up with that content. So how hard it really is to come up with content on a daily basis. And a lot of these are gonna chain together here. The next thing we're gonna talk about, the next thing, let's see. Let's go with the value of time. Um, I think I value my time that I get to do whatever I want a lot more now. And, and I also value the time that I am working on projects and stuff more as well. Like I don't waste as much time as I used to. I used to take way too many breaks while editing and, and things like that. So I just value that time more. The time that I get to spend with loved ones and friends and stuff away from the camera. like. That is, I, I, that's, it, me, it means more to me now than it did at the beginning of the month because like, there's times in this, in this month that I didn't have a whole lot of time to spend with people because I was creating a video, I was editing a video, I was doing all the things that go along with, with video, with, with the vlog, with, with YouTube, and, and with the Michael Mass channel. So it's just nice to, I mean, I don't know, it's nice that now I, I recognize that value just a little, little bit more. And the value of time will tie into the third thing we're gonna talk about here. And that is, I have, I've learned to edit quicker. Um, maybe not more creative, but just, I, I, I just get to it a lot better. I, I, I just hammer through the edits and stuff. Like I said, maybe at the, at the sake of creativity, but I mean, when you're putting out a vlog every day, unless your name is Casey Neistat, literally, uh, I, it's hard to come up with like completely creativity. I don't know. I guess there's other people out there who are probably kicking up the creativity and not on daily vlogs, but their editing chops might be just a little bit better than mine. And so once I learn those presets or find other uh, find ways to maybe make that faster, maybe it's something that happens. But um, editing quicker is something I've definitely learned. Makes them maybe not more creative, but definitely editing quicker when it comes to to getting vlogs done. The next two things are gonna kinda of tie in together as well. Let me make sure I have them here. Um, actually, this kinda of goes with the content, uh, the, the first thing we talked about. And that is gonna be number four on the list, and that is my respect for daily vloggers has went skyrocketing this month. People like Adam Wu and Casey Neistat, people who were putting out daily content. Neistat doesn't do it so much anymore, but in the day he was just killing it. And I know that was like his full-time job. He said he spent 16 hours a day on vlogs sometimes. Um, which that, wow, that's just amazing to me. But his stuff was amazing and creative. If you've never checked it out, please go check it out. It's, I mean, he's, his, his old stuff was amazing. His new stuff's still good. He doesn't do the daily thing uh, like he used to, but wow, like, or Adam the Woo. Adam the Woo doesn't do the daily thing. And it, I mean, he did it for years. And this is where content and trying to find constant content and creative ideas, like, you gotta give it props to those guys who, who, who've done it solo. And I'm not talking about the teams. I'm not talking about people who have an editor or have hired editors on the side. Like, that's that's nice. I, I, it's a good, it's, it's nice to have that, but 
it's not as hard to go create content and then have someone else edit it. Um, same thing with like couples that are editing and working together. That's when the value of time is not as, I mean, you're, you're spending all the time you want to with your loved one right there as you're editing and as you're working together. So once again, the value of time, if I wanted to spend time with somebody, I basically wouldn't be editing, I wouldn't be creating, and I wouldn't be doing a lot of stuff because I'd be spending time with them and their jobs are completely separate than mine. So uh, that's that. So much respect for those who daily vlog and, and rock it. And it's, it's not easy. It's not easy throwing, uh, throwing a video on YouTube every day that is of somewhat quality content and has somewhat meaning to somebody out there. It's just not that easy. Um, the last thing here, what are we gonna talk about? The last, number five, is that I can do anything I set my mind to. I can do anything I set my mind to, I think. Um, we can prove that with, as I'm now calling it, Juice Must 2018, as I went 21 days of juicing. The 21 day juice cleanse, juice fast. Wow, nothing but liquid. That is a testament to willpower in itself. Um, that's not easy, it's not easy. Uh, like I said, I had a ton of support, so I do have to thank a lot of people for that, but the fact that like 21 days, all I did was juice. Yeah, all I did was juice, juice, juice. Like that's all I did, 21 days. So um, yeah, that's willpower. And now Vlogmas, uh, I've got what, two, maybe three days left that I'm gonna be creating constant content and stuff like that. So once again, that's another thing that I set my mind to and, I, and I've and i achieved the task. I have, the force is strong with this one and I am accomplishing my goals. So I hope, I hope that you've got something out of this and, and maybe you can take away from something that I've, I've learned um, or that, that it's helped me in this time period. Like I've figured out things, editing quicker and stuff like that or that like I said, maybe it's just you need that encouragement. Like you can do anything too. Not not only me. I think I think most people can do anything they set their mind to. And um, like I said, just this month it happened to be Vlogmas and Juicemas at the same time. Whew. Wow, wow, guys! I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure make sure to give that thumbs up. Um, tell me, tell me, tell me. Do you have any New Year's resolutions coming up? Tell me about that, because that is what is about to happen, and I know people are thinking about that, and I kind of attacked all of that a little bit early for myself this year, a little bit early, um, as I got healthier, and I'm gonna continue to do that. So if you have a New Year's resolution that you're debating or you know you're gonna go after, please let me know down in the comments, guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you got something great out of it. If you did get something out of it, also please let me know that in the comments. Until next time, guys. Thank you for your time. Make sure to like the video. Hit subscribe if it's your first time. And here's the life.